Man, it is so freaking beautiful out here. It just rained, it's been raining all day long and it just stopped, hopefully for at least a couple hours so I can catch some fish. Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. Doing some stream fishing at this beautiful creek right down there for cutthroat trout, maybe tiger trout. I've heard of some tigers coming out of here, but I've never caught one. Got my spinning rod with me. And instead of bringing a bunch of lures that I already have, I brought something out here with me that I've never tried, but I'm kind of looking forward to trying it. I was at Walmart recently and I saw this in the fishing section. Mystery tackle box panfish and trout kit. I'm sure most of you guys know what mystery tackle box is. I've known about it for a long time and I've never tried one of these before. This isn't sponsored either or anything. I just saw this at Walmart, thought I'd try it. And this is the first time I've seen a trout box. And since all I fish for is pretty much trout, thought I'd give it a try. But yeah, it says there's $25 worth of lures in here and I got it for 18 bucks. So, I mean, I couldn't pass it up, you know? All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. All right, so right off the bat, oh, that's pretty cool. We have a Savage Gear spinner. That looks like a great spinner, but for a stream this small, I don't think there's gonna be many fish willing to hit that. It's pretty big. We got some Smart Baits color. Wait, what the heck? This is for trout? Um, all right. Some kind of grub. I don't even know. Like, it looks like it'd be for bass. Okay, we got some Lake Fork somethings. Just looks like little swim baits. And I've used stuff similar to this, so this actually might come into play big time today. And then we got a Dynamic Lures jerk bait. Again, way too big for this creek, but that's cool. And last but not least, we have some finesse tubes by Euro Tackle. Dope. And then we got a sticker. Awesome. Um, one problem I'm seeing here, they gave me a bunch of baits to use, but they didn't give me any jig heads which I figured it'd come with jig heads. So I don't know if I'll be able to use those. <laughs> really the only thing I'm seeing that we could maybe use right now is the spinner. So not gonna lie, this probably isn't the best box to have for a tiny little stream, but we're gonna try to make it work today. It's a challenge, so we're gonna stick with it, see if we can catch at least one fish with this stuff. To start off, we're gonna throw this spinner. It's quite big but I still think we can get some fish with it. I knew, I had a feeling in the back of my mind, I should bring jig heads just in case they didn't give me any because honestly this, I would be using this if I had some jig heads. So we're just gonna work with what we got. All right. So I got that spinner tied on. I think we'll be able to catch some fish with this. I do have confidence. Oh, there was a fish, shoot. Shoot, first fish of the day, just got off right there. I thought I was hung up on the rocks or something, but no, that was a nice cut. There we go, fish home. No, no. Dang it, that was the first fish, or second fish actually that's got off. Ah, come on. There's gonna be more down there for sure, come on. So far, I've had two fish get off with the spinner, and that's it. And I really wanna use those little tubes that came in the MTB box. But like I said, I don't have any jig heads, but I think I do have some in my car. So I'm gonna head back to my car, hopefully find some jig heads, and then use those little tubes. Cause I think if I could use those, I'd be catching them like crazy. All right guys, so I've moved spots, fishing a different creek now. And I found some jig heads in my car. So I'm gonna be using those tubes in a second, but I'm gonna see if I can get one on this spinner real quick. So like I said, it has been raining all day. And if you notice the water clarity is not too good right now. Usually this stream is crystal clear, but since it's been raining all day, now we only got a few inches. So hopefully a few inches is enough. Oh, there was a fish, there was a bite, there was a bite. Oh, there he is, got him. No, dude. That's the third fish that's gotten off. Oh, there was another one. There was another one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the spinner off because I've had three fish get off. So 
That basically counts as a catch, right? So I'm gonna pull out the old MTB box here. And we're gonna pull out these Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Euro Tubes. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Saw him come up and swipe at it. Oh, there he was. Shoot. Come on. He's right there. Come on. You know, I think what it is is they're, I think they're just grabbing the tail of this tube and just pulling on it. They, they can't really get their mouth around that hook. Oh, there was a bite. Dude, oh my gosh. Oh, he's right there. Come on. Come on. He's right there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my goodness. Come on. He's right there. Oh my gosh. There he is. Finally, dude. This fish has swiped at it. I'm not even kidding. Like 10 times. My gosh. Well, I won in the end. So on that Euro tackle tube. Heck yeah. Nice little cut. First official catch of the day. All right. Here we go. Toss them back. All right. The next day. Well, welcome back to day number two. Yesterday, after I caught that fish, it started snowing and the wind really picked up. So I went home, only to wake up this morning and find that it's snowing even harder than it was yesterday. But you know what? I decided I'm still gonna come out here and try to finish this video for you guys at a different creek. This is the third creek we fished in today's video. And instead of going for cutthroat, we're going for brown trout and rainbow trout. I've only ever caught brown trout out of here, but I know they do stock quite a few rainbows in here. So unfortunately to get to this creek, I have to hike through all these willows. I don't even know. The creek is clear over there. You guys cannot see it, obviously. But somehow, I have to get over there. Oh, I can see water. I can see water. All right. Check it out, folks. Beautiful. Well, I think it's beautiful. Some people might not think so, but we got a cool looking creek here. Surprisingly, I was kind of concerned when I came out here that the water would just be all flooded out and dirty since we have gotten a lot of runoff and rain lately, but the water looks clear, which is good. And as for the lure I'm gonna be using, we're gonna continue to use the lures we got in that mystery tackle box. And I'm starting off with that Savage Gear spinner. There's got to be fish right here, though. It looks way too good. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Fish on, folks. Fish on. It feels like a good one. This actually feels like a decent one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Or I snagged him. Oh, I might have snagged him. Shoot. Yep, look at that. I snagged a good brown. Gosh dang it, he definitely went for it. Look at, that's a good fish. Dude, first one of the day, been here five minutes. That was like the fifth cast right over there. Look at that brown. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful, this is the biggest brown I've caught in a while. What? Check it out. I snagged him right there in the top of the head. He 100% went for it, but I just sideswiped him. That's all right. We'll get him back. There we go. About a 15 inch brown to start the day. Definitely a quality fish. I don't think I've ever caught one this big from this stream. So that's awesome. Man, beautiful. I am going to do a catch and cook later today, but this is just a little bit bigger than what I want. And it's the first one. Later. Oh my gosh, that is freaking awesome, dude. Whoa, this ground is not stable. I could step into a five foot hole right now and I wouldn't even know it. This is kind of sketchy. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, not going over there. Not going over there. Whew. Whew. Check it out. So the creek kind of opens up into a little pond right here. There's gotta be fish just stacked up right here. Made it. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope, we didn't. Oh, wow. This place is hard to get around. Here we go. Oh, there's fish jumping right there. Dude, there's fish, like, having a feeding frenzy over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm actually sinking. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. I'm sinking. I'm sinking, folks. Well, so much for wearing rubber boots and staying dry. <laughs> Note to self, do not walk right there. It looks like it's two inches deep, but I literally was sinking. It's like super glue, dude. Oh, I barely made it out of there alive. There's nothing worse than walking in wet socks. Ooh, I'm scared to walk in the water now. <laughs> this place is a death trap. Oh God. So much for staying dry. I'm not even trying anymore. Might as well just trudge through the two feet deep snow. Get snow down in my boots. Why not, dude? Oh. Dude, I ran my spinner right through them. Didn't even get a bite. I don't know, dude, they might be keying in on little flies or something on the surface. Maybe they don't want a big spinner. This is the hardest creek I've ever had to navigate. I can't wade because it's literally quicksand and walking around is nearly impossible. <laughs> There's another hole. Or it's just really deep snow. Oh, okay, let's see if we can catch a fish. I just need one 12 inch trout. We can cook up. <sighs> oh, are you kidding me? The one freaking leaf down there. All right, I'm gonna try to cross. This is, nope, we're not crossing. All right, he about fell. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> about 10 seconds away from rage mode. Okay, I'm about to just send it and start swimming. I'm not even kidding. I might as well just get wet. I'm not trying to stay dry or anything. Okay, I think we're good right there. I am sinking a little bit, but we're good. Okay. You wanna know what the most terrifying feeling in the world is? One of putting your foot down in sand or grass or something like this and just you keep descending not feeling a bottom oh it's a nightmare might be some fish down here oh, i'm almost through all right made it through the first level and i don't see any fish i don't think i spooked any either huh where are these fish? It's always how it is though. I get a nice 15 inch brownie on like the fifth cast. Then an hour and a half goes by, I'm soaking wet and I haven't caught anything else. This might be really dangerous, but we're gonna do it.
Whew, that was mildly terrifying. So here is the predicament that I have found myself in. I'm trying to get back to the creek, which is clear down there. I have walked like 150, 200 yards clear around here, and I can't go any further than that over there because it's like a ledge and there's like four feet of snow. The only way that I've found is right through here. Clear down there, only these are all thorn bushes, but this is my only way. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ugh. Ouch, ouch, I already feel it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, all right, go for it. Oh, ouch. Oh. <sighs> Let me go. It's trapping me. God, he's stupid. It's trapping me. Let me go. Oh, that's a big drop off. That's a big drop off. I have no other option. <sighs> Keep going. Keep going. This is a death march. <sighs> Oh, we're gonna fall. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Holy cow. I just fell in that hole just a little further. At this point, what's a little water? You guys, you guys better like this video. I just fell up to my chest in weeds and had to crawl out. Bruh, it doesn't look bad on a GoPro. You can never get the full perspective. This has been a treacherous journey to just try to get to water that I can fish. I mean, who cares at this point? I'll just walk through. <laughs> I don't even know where the creek is. This is just a little portion of the creek. I don't know where the main creek is. This is like a giant wetland area. I don't even think there's any fish here. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Right in the cherries hole. Oh. oh gosh. Screw it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Come on. Where is the creek? There's no fish here. That one I caught was clearly an illusion. Fake news. CNN right there. I think if I can get past this right here, I'll be home free. Maybe. It looks somewhat open. Almost there. Almost there. Screw it. I'll go up to my knees in water. Ooh, that's cold. That's cold. Oh. oh, there was one. There's a bite. There's a bite. I saw him, he's just a little guy. Oh, there's a bite. There he is. Oh, that was a good one. Holy crap, did you guys see him come up? That was a freaking stud brown. Come back, come back, I don't think I, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, got him, he's right there. He's right there, he is on the hunt. Come on. Oh, there he is, there he is. That's the guy that came back for it three times. That is lunch. Woohoo! Check it out. This is the most rewarding fish I think I've ever caught. Look at that. Bright orange brownie. Came back for it three times. You guys don't even understand what I've gone through the past hour to catch this fish. I mean, I'm soaking wet up to my waist, crashing through thickets, bushes, I fell in a four foot hole and had to climb my way out just so I could catch 
this fish right here. And there's more down there. I got like two or three other bites. I'm gonna kill this guy, throw him in my backpack. We're gonna cook him later on, but I'm not done fishing. There we go. Oh, missed him. Oh, there we go. That's a decent one. That's a pretty good fish. Finally, what we got here? About the same size as the one we kept. Maybe a little smaller. Yeah, a little smaller. Cool. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Number three on the Savage Gear Spinner. All right, Let's see if we can get another one. Gosh. Okay, it's a little slippery. Where do we go from here? Ugh. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, 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 got him. There he is. Good. Good fish. Good fish. Wow, they put up a fight in here. Yes. Look at that. There we go. Quality fish. There was at least one more this exact same size behind him. We're going to let this guy go. Already got dinner. There he goes. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't caught a rainbow yet because I know they put quite a few rainbows in here, but so far haven't seen one. I don't know if I'm not in the right spot for them or what. So far, it's just been browns. Oh, there he is. There he is. Little guy, cool. I'm actually about to call it for the day because it's starting to snow pretty bad now and I don't know where I am. It's probably gonna take me a good minute to get back to my car, so but there we go. That's probably the smallest one of the day. See ya, bud. We'll give it a few more casts. There he is. <laughs> Look at that little guy. I could see him swimming around down there. See ya. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for fishing. I'm soaking wet. I caught a good handful of fish. I'm happy with it. But now we're gonna cook our little brown trout that we caught. It is still snowing a little bit, but I've come under these trees where I'm kind of blocked out. We'll go ahead and set up our stove here. You know, I woke up this morning thinking, I should build a little fire, make a little campfire, cook a fish, but only on the days when I want to build a fire is when I look out the window and it's snowing, so that's not going to happen. And instead of using butter, I've got some canola oil. The heat from that flame is really nice. All right, there's water crackling on the pan, so that means it's hot. I'll take our little brown trout, set them in. Oh, baby. So as some of you guys know, I recently opened up a P.O. box for you guys to send me stuff. And I got a package. I'm pretty sure it's seasoning. Hopefully it's seasoning, because if not, we're screwed. But I got this package from, oh, I forgot his name. I think he told me he was going to send me some seasoning, but I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, I should have remembered, but we're gonna go ahead and open this package up, see what it is. Like I say, I hope it's seasoning. If it's not, we're gonna have a bland fish. Oh, sweet. Heck yeah. We got some Johnny's seasoning salt. Yeah, he told me he was gonna send me this. I forgot your name, dude, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're gonna be trying this on our fish today. Never tried it before. And if you guys wanna send me anything, I'll leave my P.O. box down in the description. I've already had a few, yes. I've already had a few, I've already had a few of you guys send me some packages and I'm waiting to open them. I wanna open them on video, but I do appreciate it. Season the inside. There 
There we go. Give it a flip. Ooh, look at that. I can probably just take the skin off now. Like, look at that. The fin just pulls right out. And there goes the skin. Now, usually I just throw the skin off and wait for something else to eat it, but so many of you guys have gotten after me recently saying that I need to eat the skin because it's the best part. So, I'm going to listen to you guys and give it a try. Just this once. I'm just going to eat this piece. Yeah, not my thing. I can see why some of you guys have liked that, but it does have a pretty decent flavor just on its own. I didn't season the skin, and it does have a pretty good flavor. It's just the texture. I think I got some scales in my teeth. If you guys like eating the skin, go for it. I'm gonna take it off though. So we'll just peel that skin back. And grab a bite right here. There we go. Fresh brown trout from the creek. Mmm, that's good. All right, this stuff, that is good. It's super strong. It's got a very, it's, it's very salty, but that's good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I'll admit, that was the hardest, most treacherous time I've ever had navigating my way through the creek. I mean, I fell in a hole clear up to my chest, like twice. I got soaking wet. I had to crawl on my hands and knees, knees through thorn bushes. It was quite the adventure today, but I'm glad we caught some fish because if I didn't, I'd probably be raging right now. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to send anything to my P.O. box, it will be in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.